What's up guys, I'm Rustin from RustmerTech.com and this is another tutorial in assembly programming. Now in this class I'm going to talk about the XOR instruction, so let's get started. The XOR instruction performs a boolean exclusive OR operation between each pair of matching bits in two operands and stores the results in a destination operand. So let me show you guys exactly what that means. This is a syntax of a XOR instruction here. We first start off by typing XOR, hit space. We type in our destination operand, comma, hit space again, then we type in our source operand. So again, this is the, the syntax of the XOR operation. There are two operands here, it will get XORed, and, we'll, and all the results will get stored in this destination operand. Now down here, this is how an XOR operation actually works. When comparing two bits, if both bits are zero, the results will be a zero. If one bit is zero and one bit is one, the result will be a one. If one bit is one and one bit is zero, the result will be a one. If both bits are one, the result will be a zero. The way this works, two matching bits, whether it's zero or one, will give you a zero. Otherwise, everything else is a one. So let me show you an example of that right down here. Let's use a 8-bit uh, binary uh, value down here. Let's type in eight ones. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We know this is two, five, five. This is the decimal of 255, right? And the hexadecimal of FF. How do I know that? Let's just copy it here. I have a neat tool that I use, and I'm gonna open up my browser. This is a uh, binary to decimal to hexadecimal converter. Uh, you can find this at mathisfun.com. I'll leave a link in my description. I have to, what, what did I copy? I copied, okay, I copied the binary. Now all you have to do is paste whatever value you're trying to convert, right? And just hit enter and it'll convert it and it'll show you uh, the, the differences in decimal, hexadecimal, and binary. So our 8-bit value of 8 ones has a decimal value of 255, right? And a hexadecimal of FF. So let's try another one down here. Let's, let's XOR it to another 8-bit binary value. Let's uh, this time have, let's this time use 7 ones, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 1, 0. So this I know has a value of 254 and a hexadecimal value of FE. So we're going to test it out right now. I'm going to copy this binary value here. We're going to open up our browser again. I'm going to paste it on top of here. Then I'm going to hit enter. And as you can see, it has a decimal value of 54 and a hexadecimal value of FE. Pretty cool, right? Now, let's XOR it down here. Okay, matching pairs will give you a zero right so zero 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 now finally we don't have a matching pair because the first bit is one and the second bit is zero so that'll give you a one right so the results of this binary value xor to this binary value will give you a one a decimal value of one so let's test it out let's open up mu8086 right we have to start off by moving around some values first. All right, we have to type in end p to end this uh, procedure here. So let's just clean this up a little bit. And we gotta move some values around. I'm gonna use a 8-bit value, so we gotta work with 8-bit registers. So let's move into ah, our first value we used, uh, and that's eight ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We know this has a decimal value of 255 and a hexadecimal value of ff, right? So let's also move into bh because this is another 8 bit register. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, zero, right? So we know this has a value of 254 and a hexadecimal value of f8, right? Again, when working with binary values, right? When, oh, you have to make sure you type at the end of the binary value b so the program knows this is a binary value. So now let's use the XOR instruction. We have to type in X O R hit space. We have to type in our destination operand. I'm gonna make A H our destination operand, right? Comma, space, and now our source operand, which is B H, right? So these two uh, binary values are going to XOR and the results will be stored in A H, right? So let's hit emulate. Our first step here is highlighted, move into A H this value here. This value should have a binary value of, of 255 and a hexadecimal value of FF. So let's hit next step and see what happens. See, over here, AH has a hexadecimal value of FF or a decimal value of 255. Now our second step is highlighted, move into BH. 
one 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 zero one. I'm sorry, one 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 zero. This has a decimal value of two five four and a hexadecimal value of FE. Let's hit single step. And as you can see, our BH register now has a value of FE. Now our last step here is highlighted, right? Our XOR instruction. And uh, we're XORing this binary value with this binary value. And the results should be stored in AH. So let's hit next step. And the results were stored in AH here. Now AH has a value of 1. Because this binary value here, XORed with this binary value, will give you a value of 1. And let me just demonstrate that again. Let's close this here. Let's uh, hit enter. Okay, we know, again, two matching bits will give you a 1. I'm sorry, two matching bits will give you a 0. 0 again, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Now we come to the end and uh, we have 1 and we have a 0. So that's a 1. So these two x ord gave me a value of 1. And that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rissin from RossMartech.com and thanks for watching.